you all, and welcome to the Gamescast. Welcome to a slow different video. Uh, this video is how to use PFPX without Topcat. Uh, so I'm not going to be using Topcat in this video. If you uh, want, you can pause it now and just have a look at the introduction of the project product features. And also the system requirements. It, you don't really need uh, any system will run this, so you don't really need to read that, but it could be useful for some of you. Uh, so anyway, if you are looking to purchase this, this is how much it costs, 42 euros, that's about uh, 33 pounds and about 60 dollars, and uh, so that is for one year, and then after that you pay 12 euros 42 after that year, so you don't need to repurchase that, or you can buy the bundle and then just buy the coupon as well. Anyway, uh, let's get on to PFPX. So, what is it? It's a flight planning. It's a flight planning system for FSX, or that is what I use it for. Uh, you can use it for other flight simulators, such as X-Plane Flight Simulator 2004, uh, and Prepared. I suspect you can probably use it for. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I am going to show you. Uh, the basics basically I am by no means there's so many more features in this but I'm just going to show you the basics so first uh, how to uh, how to start off so you want to make a new aircraft then this will come up it all looks very confusing it really isn't registration you can put anything so you can put um, whatever you like so uh, let's say Triple seven, if that's a triple seven or triple seven two hundred, for example, tail number doesn't really matter. You can put anything. Then uh, there's a load of aircrafts you can choose from. Uh, you don't need to worry about anything else. All you need to do is put that in, and then you click save. I'm not going to because I don't need to. Uh, then these uh, panels here, you also do not need to worry about. Anyway. Uh, we're going to make a new flight, so we can either click here or just click here to make a new flight. Now this is your airways, so as you can see here there's a whole uh, range of different, there's hundreds, thousands probably of different airways you can use. I'm just going to use British Airways. Your flight number, you can put anything you like. I'm going to be British Airways 9. That is what I'm going to be. That is my flight number. That is what I will input into the CDU. Uh, from, uh, we can choose where we're going to go from on the map, which is what I'm going to do, because I'm going to make this into a video. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make this into a video. So, let's have a look where I want to come from. Somewhere where I haven't flown from before would be quite fun. Africa. Look how little airports are in Africa. Jesus. Probably quite a few down here. Uh, towards the south in, uh, in the sort of Cape Town. Oh no, there isn't really well for us compared to... Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, Europe, geez. So many in Europe. Um, so this, these are basically all the air airports you can choose or choose to fly from and to uh, in FSX. So let's go from... Let's make not make this video too long. Ah, Eham, here we go. Amsterdam. I'm going to fly from oh Eham and we are going to fly to I'm using the triple seven today. As you can see here, this is what I have. So I've got a Boeing 737 batters for uh FSX classic. That was for the PMDG. I'm just going to use uh this one here. Uh, the 200 uh, and that is a Captain Sim aircraft by the way and that video will be coming out very shortly um, let's go to, uh, let's try to Italy no yes or Switzerland or oh, Switzerland I've, I've never flown into Switzerland uh, let's go to this one LSMM uh, M. M here we go so you can see the flight here. At the moment it is just one one straight line. Uh, that will all be fixed. It's already calculated a takeoff runway and a landing runway. A landing on 28. Oh my god, it's not a very long runway, but that will be fun. And we're taking off from 36 left. We can change it. We can also select 
no runway at all. Um, I am, so that's fine. A type of flight, international. Uh, data flight, time of flight, we're going to be starting in about half an hour. Uh, that's our overall time, estimated time. Uh, then we are going to select our aircraft. I've already done that. Configuration standard. Uh, you can manually adjust this. I'm not going to. There's no point. Hit nose or weights and stuff from what you've already put in when you, we select a uh, new aircraft. Uh, payload. Uh, we can do this ourselves or we can simply click that. So 226 adults, 6 children. Uh, baggage, cargo, payload. This will all be. Uh, uh, I'll show you why this is uh, useful later on. Um, right, so uh, fuel, we don't really need to worry about that too much. Attack uh, is basically just uh, telling us all the stuff, so I'm going to be using the minimum amount of fuel or the maximum amount of fuel you can choose. I am going to use the minimum. Um, hold time we are going to count for 30 minutes of hold and uh, an extra 30 minutes of time as well so overall we're going to have an extra uh, one hour of fuel and time just in case air traffic control tell us to do something uh, we're not going to use air traffic control but I'm going to put it in anyway uh, so I can show you guys now for route you might have seen on the interweb <laughs> I had this and uh, this is is quite cool so there's two ways you can do a route so the first one is this way we're going to put eham and we are flying to lsmm lsmm and we can choose a flight level so we want anything really from flight level 230 to uh, 4 flight level 40, 400 even, uh, that's 40,000 feet or 23,000 feet, we can use cycle 1212, I always use cycle 1212, I'm not entirely sure what the cycle does, but I know that is the best thing, we are going to use SIDS and we are going to use STARS, um, SIDS and STARS are basically what you use for SIDS are exiting, uh, uh, departing, STARS are approach, so we are going to use those then we are going to click find route and it's going to search for a whole load of routes and it's telling us this is the one we're going to use now uh, you do not have to put input any of this so you don't have to input all these different things you can if you want but there is no point we are just going to copy that here so we're just going to copy that and we're going to go back to pfpx we're going to paste it here and we are get, then going to click um, find and it's finding, finding and that is a route it has suggested so you can see here it has all the waypoints we originally had uh, so we, that is just has just inputted all those however many waypoints there were there about 15 or something however we are not going to do that so we're going to clear that and we are just going to click find and that has found a route automatically it happens to be uh, very similar but it is uh, it's not quite the same I don't think it does look a little bit different but it is very similar but um, but yeah it's a little bit different and in fact we actually uh, quite interesting we don't take off like that we are actually taking off backwards and we're going back down like that so we're sort of taking off north rather than taking off south, which would make more logic. But clearly, that is a wind today. Today, the wind is coming in from the north. So that's we always take off into the wind in uh, aviation. Anyway, it tells us all that. And our alternate uh, a build route. You have to click build route. Now it's just built it for us. Then. Alternate, uh, you can choose how many you want. Uh, I am going to choose uh, it's a relatively it's a longish flight. It is the same as here to here, basically. So it's actually, I say it's a longish flight. It's a fairly short flight. We 
will only need one alternate. Now you can just click here and click find and then you can uh, choose all different types of routes. You can choose distance like this. I'm going to choose one which is a little bit far away relatively. Uh, runway, you want a nice long runway, here we go. So we can have, no here we go, Zurich as our alternate. Just double click that, click that and click find. And we are done. Alternatively you could have just clicked up here um, and it would have done the same thing. Uh, we don't need to worry about any of this, this comes into a different, uh, we, we'll only use alternate if we program that into our FMC. Now, right now, uh, two things you can do. You can compute flight, or you can go to takeoff. If I click that, it says I do not have Topcat, so I can't do that. And landing, again, you need Topcat. I don't have Topcat. Um, I will invest in it at some point, but at the moment, I've only invested in uh, F, uh, PFPX. So, anyway, now we're going to go to compute flight. And there it is. That's it. Now... Um, if you tried to print it now or whatever, you wouldn't be able to. We are now going to go to release the flight, so we're going to make it official. So that's made it official. Now we can print it. And uh, can I not view it? Uh, no, I can't view it. Okay, I thought I could view it. I can't. Um, it doesn't really matter, I will show you here. It comes up with all this stuff in a printed professional format and it comes up with all of this information here so it comes up with all that sort of stuff it comes up with uh, ATC and weather which we haven't set because uh, we're not using ATC so basically the main things is this bit here and this bit here and uh, one other thing now we might be thinking well it's great that we've planned the route but how are we going to put it in the aircraft? There's no point planning a route just to put it put in all these. You don't want to go through all of these and just putting it in the aircraft. So what we're going to do now, we're going to click export. Now, I've got, uh, this is uh, where my uh, FSX is. It's the Steam version. I'm using a Captain Sim aircraft. You'll notice there's lots of different types of aircraft you can use. So uh, here we go, prepared. Uh, these are obviously different games, VATSIM, so if you're going online or whatever. Uh, FS2004, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, uh, the iFly, and I use sort of a PMDG stuff as well. I'm using a Captain Sim, so that's what it's going to be. Now, we're going to double click that, and it says EHAM to LSMM01, RT is saved. Now we can simply click OK and exit. Um, that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the air for the start of the route I've just planned. Goodbye, and have a good day.